An older term for ameloblastoma is adamantinoma. Ameloblastomas are the commonest epithelial odontogenic tumours, but despite this they only account for approximately 1% of all jaw cysts and tumours. They arise most frequently in the third to fifth decades and are slightly more common in males than females. And they are also more frequent in people of African ethnicity. Over 80% of amyloblastomas arise in the mandible and 70% of these occur in the region of the molars or ramus, that is at the back of the mandible. They are slow growing tumours and they are locally invasive and can be disfiguring but they usually have a benign course. Occasionally amyloblastomas can undergo malignant transformation. So where do amyloblastomas arise from? Well they can arise from the epithelial lining of dentigerous cysts, from the dental lamina remnants, from the enamel organ and they may arise from the basal layer of the oral mucosa. Grossly amyloblastomas may be solid tumours but often have cystic components to a greater or lesser extent and on x-ray they have a, a lytic expansile appearance. There are a number of histological variants of amyloblastoma, the most common being the follicular variant. Other types include plexiform, acanthomatous, granular cell and basal cell. And another feature of amyloblastomas is that they do not produce enamel and dentine and immunostains are show positivity for the keratin markers. Here are a couple of gross images of an amyloblastoma of the mandible and the anatomy of the underlying mandible has been severely distorted by this tumour. It is a solid tumour but in areas there are some cystic changes. And here is the typical histological appearance of an amyloblastoma. You can see islands of tumour cells lying in a fibrous stroma. And on low power the tumour has a rather basaloid appearance. And as we move to a higher magnification you can see that the periphery of these tumour islands is lined by columnar cells. And these cells are the amyloblastic layer of cells. And one of the characteristic histological features of these cells is that the nuclei show reverse polarity where they are situated away from the basement membrane with palisading. Having said that, in this particular image it is not so obvious. Another feature in amyloblastoma is that the cells comprising the islands have a rather angular or triangular appearance. 